I'm doing a collab with Christine Amore. All right, I hope you guys enjoy her look. If you do, make sure you check down below. In the description bar, I'll have a link to her collab tutorial. If you guys want to see how I created my look, please keep on watching. Alright you guys, I'm going to start off with this new brow pencil that I got from Alley Girl and these are their Shady Slim brow pencils and this one is black is brown and I'm just going to fill in my brows and clean that up using some of my Alley Girl Pro HD concealer in the shade Fawn as always and I'm just going to blend that out using a concealer brush. This is totally optional. If you're not into these types of brows, you do not have to do it, okay? Alright, so this is just my preference. I'm also going to go in and clean up the top part of my brow and I'm using my foundation shade and I'm using the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 340 and I'm just going to blend it out as well. You guys, to keep my brows in order, I'm going to use some of this NYX Brow um, Gel. This is the Control Free Brow Gel. Then I'm going to go in and add some concealer to help cancel out any discoloration I might have on my eye area and blend that out. And I'm also going to go in and prime my eyelid. Once I have that primer done, I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and a blending brush. And I'm just going to pop this into my transition and crease area and just blend this out back and forth like windshield wiper motions. And I'm also going to kind of blend this out in a V shape on the outer part of my lid. Then I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner Pencil and I'm just going to start outlining the shape of my eyeshadow that I'm going for, like the eyeshadow look that I'm going for. Alright you guys, now that I have my liner in the position where I want it, I'm going to go in with a liner brush. This is an angled brush and I'm just going to kind of smudge that out and wing it out and extend it a bit. Then I'm going to go in with Chocolatier and then I'm going to use this small kind of blending brush to apply this into my crease. It's kind of like a crease blending brush and just deepen that up and give my crease more of a defined look and it's also going to add some depth to my crease area and I'm also going to go back in with my blending brush and blend that out again then I'm going to use this beautiful shade of blue from the new Urban Decay full spectrum palette the color is called Minx and I'm just going to pat this onto my lid it doesn't have to be super super opaque but if you want to have it super opaque you can do that but I just need to lay this color down so I can add this beautiful glitter this is a pro pressed glitter from OPV Lashes and it's called Witty and I'm going to be using my LA Splash glitter um, sealer or adhesive to apply it. So I put that onto the shadow first and then I put that glitter on top of it. This glitter you don't need to wet your brush to pick the product up. You could just use a synthetic flat brush to pick it up and apply it on top of whatever adhesive you use for your eye glitter and it will stick. I'm going to go back in with my liner just to define that line a bit more and just you know, kind of make it stand out more because I really want this line to stand out. I want it to look very dramatic in the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my NYC Color Liquid Liner and create my wing liner as always. I'm just going to add just a bit more of that black glide gel liner pencil and deepen up my crease more. I know it's looking super dramatic you guys, but that's what I want. I don't want it even to be like blended in or smoked out or anything like that. I want that line to be super defined. Alright you guys, I'm going to blend up my crease just a bit more with that brush that I used earlier for the brown shade. Then I'm going to add a bit more of that minx to the wing part of my shadow and a bit more of that glitter to close up that little gap that was there. Then I'm going to go in and prime underneath my lower lashes and add minx as well under my lower lashes and smoke it out. Give it a nice smoky blend and apply my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner Pencil in my waterline. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go in with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I'm just going to add some of this to the top part of my lashes. Then I'm going to go in with this beautiful golden shade from Makeup Geek. I totally forgot the name so I'll put it in the description box for you guys. But I'm going to highlight my brow using that shade. Then I'm going to use these gorgeous synthetic lashes from OPV and I'm just going to pop these on 
to my natural lashes okay the tool that I'm using is called scissor tweezers and I put a link to it down below in the description box so you guys could purchase one if you would like to do that all right I'm gonna go into my crease I decided to do this last minute and use my liquid liner to outline my crease so it could look more defined I'm telling you guys I really wanted a defined line in my crease okay that's the look I was going for so Hope you guys understand so that's pretty much it for the eye look now onto the face I did my foundation off camera and I used my Maybelline fit me matte poreless in the shade 340 and I'm just gonna go in and highlight using my LA girl pro HD concealer in the shade fawn as always and I'm going to use a beauty sponge to blend it out I'm also going to highlight my cupid's bow which is right above the lip area, my chin, the bridge part of my nose and my forehead. Okay and this is just to help those areas stand out a bit more. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, mist and set spray to dampen my sponge and just blend out this under eye concealer. You can use a brush if you're more comfortable with that or you don't have to add this concealer if it's not your thing. Okay so just make the look your own you guys okay. Once I have everything nice and blended, I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder and I'm going to set under my eye area using that same sponge and I'm using the pointy side and this is just going to give me a nice even coat of powder while I push it in. It's going to kind of lock in that concealer and keep it from moving. Okay, now I'm going to go in and contour using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the shade Cocoa and I'm using a synthetic contouring brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to use that to define my face, warm up my skin and add definition to my cheekbone area, my forehead and my jawline. Alright you guys, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose as well using the same contouring brush and I'm going to use the product that is left on the brush and contour the sides of my nose and bring back the definition to my nose that the foundation sometimes takes away and then I'm going to go in and sweep away all the excess Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder which you do not need in this look. Alright you guys, now using one of Alley Girl's new highlighting powders or strobing powders. This one is in Watt 10 or 10 Watt I believe. And it's a darker kind of rosy bronzy shade. I'm going to actually use this as blush. Then I'm going to go in with this highlight from OPV. I'll list the name of it down below in the description box. And I'm just going to pop this onto my cheek to give me a glow so I can shine a bit. You know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm also going to add some of this to the bridge part of my nose and the tip of my nose. Then I'm going to go in with OPV's liquid lipsticks in Divine and Soho Secret. And I'm going to create a very soft ombre type of nude lip look. Alright, so um, OPV has some really pretty liquid lipsticks, you guys. They have almost every shade of nude you can think of. So definitely give them a look and try them out because I love the textures of the lipsticks and they don't take forever to come off like I don't have to like scrub off half my lip for them to come off so that's another reason why I love the formula from OPV I'm also gonna go in with a small lip brush this brush is from an OPV lip, um, brush set and so is pretty much all the brushes that I use in this tutorial and I'm just gonna go in and clean up around my mouth area as well using my foundation then I'm gonna go back in with that lip brush once again and blend out my lip just a bit more and for the final thing that we're doing we're going to spray some setting spray and this one's from makeup forever which I have been loving and that is your final look I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you did give me a thumbs up and make sure you check out my girl Christine Amor. I love you guys. Bye.